Hello, everybody. This is uh, Johnny Lang, Utah Johnny L on Instagram. And I thought I would just do a little tutorial or a little uh, presentation on Pepe the Mini Cooper that I built uh, uh, in 2019. Certainly got a lot of interest in this car and a lot of questions. Hey, what'd you do here? What'd you do there? So uh, I put together this prehistoric presentation like a PowerPoint because I didn't shoot any video uh, building this car. I just have a bunch of photos. Uh, this will just have to do. There are a couple sound clips. Uh, but uh, nevertheless, you'll get the gist of what I did with this little monster. So this is uh, Pepe 2004 Mini Cooper uh, S. S stands for supercharged. Uh, it's the R53 variant. I picked it up in the neighborhood for just a few thousand bucks. I couldn't resist. Uh, I had another little red one um, at the same time and I went low on that car. This car I decided I'm going to lift. So um, got it home and uh, started detailing it. Uh, I always like to start with a, a nice uh, clean foundation. This little car is actually um, in real good shape. Um, cleaned up really well, nice and shiny. Interior is really decent, uh, genuine pleather seats. And uh, they were actually in really good shape. Bluetooth stereo, all the fun stuff. And of course, a six speed manual, which is the key thing with little Mini Coopers because they're just such a hoot. All right, so first things first, uh, lift kit. And everybody asks, where'd you get the lift kit? It's Journeys Off-Road. There's a website. They are two inch lift kits, nothing special. They're just uh, spacers, essentially welded spacers that go above the, uh, the spring packs or the coil packs on the strut assembly. And uh, that's where you get some of your lift. The rest of your lift you're gonna get from your tires which is why I opted to go really big on the tires and probably maybe even a little too big. Uh, I went with a 235, 75, 15 in the Falcon Wild Peak AT3 uh, tire because I love those. I have them on, uh, on my, my Land Cruiser, my Tundra, uh, uh, my ton, my actually, what else? Uh, I don't know, a few other cars I'm mumbling. Uh, great tires. So. Went with uh, the larger tire, a little bit of reverse engineering, and um, decided to uh, buy the tire first and then make it fit. Uh, so it took a lot of uh, fabrication, a lot of uh, metal cutting here and there, uh, well, which we'll get into. All right, the wheels are uh, the Vores Racing um, little basic uh, 15 by I think eight, zero offset. So they stick out quite a bit. Got these on eBay. I thought, hey, this will be kind of a cool look uh, with the black and the gold. Uh, had them mounted and balanced. Um, I always like just to see, you know, where I'm at with weight. Uh, here's the OEM wheels and tires with the run flat tires. I don't like run flats. Uh, came in a little over 46 pounds and um, the uh, new setup with the big meats at about 50 pounds, so um, not horrible. I was actually kind of pleasantly surprised at that. Obviously, got them on the car, there was a lot of issues, a lot of rubbing, and they're just not really meant to uh, be on a little Mini Cooper. So, started cutting away a little bit here and there, and that led to a lot here and there, with uh, trimming of some metal and the inner, uh, inner uh, fender liner, and um, making a little patch panel and so forth, as I'll show you. Uh, but in the end it all worked out. So here's just a few shots of kind of how it was coming together as it was up on the lift. First a uh, few initial cuts here and there and then the big cut. Uh, that's on the driver's side as you can see that uh, harness down below that's one of the main wiring harnesses so I had to really be careful and not cutting that up. That would have led to other issues. Um, so I cut out this metal and then just essentially made a little patch panel out of some cardboard and um, welded it in. So uh, as you can see, there's the washer fluid reservoir that's in the fender liner. They took uh, use of every little space they had in the Mini Cooper. I had to eliminate that and I had to just do a secondary um, washer fluid container because I essentially kind of just cut all that out to make these big tires fit uh, is what it is. So here's some shots of the cutout and here is the little cardboard mock-up I did. And then I uh, traced out some metal, made a little patch panel, welded it in and uh, finished welding and then actually put some uh, seam sealer on it all. And that's much better. Got a little uh, 
uh, room in there now for, for those big tires. And guess what? They still rub. <laughs> is what it is so as you can see there the tires um you know they stick out quite a bit all right the snorkel uh where did i get the snorkel where do you find a snorkel for a mini cooper uh you don't really um i went on ebay and found this chinese uh, snorkel that i thought well this may work because of the shorter base and the angle of the dangle and the windshield and so forth I don't know what it was for, to be honest with you. Something diesel, something Chinese, something, something. I just ordered it and it came from China uh, like four weeks later and I made it work. The rack, uh, again, eBay special, nothing special here about this rack. I think it holds maybe 22 pounds, if that. Plastic ends, that type of a thing, but it's small and it kind of fit the roof line of the Mini. I fabricated the uh, little brackets to make it work uh, right here, as you can see, and, uh, and I just uh, sealed it all up and drilled it into the roof. The gold tidbits you see on the car, that's all vinyl wrapping because the car, as you saw in the first photo, had a white roof and mirrors and so forth. So I experimented with some vinyl wrapping. That's sometimes a little tricky to do, but it turned out okay for the project. Um, did the mirrors as well as the front little hood scoop. All right, next on the list was the bumper. As you can see, uh, I had some spare parts laying around, some spare metal parts. I just uh, put some things together, started creating uh, just on the fly, essentially. I didn't really have anything in my, uh, you know, written down. I just started uh, getting some parts and I thought, well, how can I make this look somewhat decent with the body lines? The bumper's uh, two pieces, uh, the main piece uh, across the, the front there, and then the bottom piece, uh, and they bolt together, and then the bottom piece obviously has the skid plate, aluminum skid plate that I, uh, I added on that as well. There's a shot of the front main piece, the upper piece. Uh, and of course, the lights, uh, those are not ARB or anything like that. They're, again, little eBay cheapies, uh, LED lights. And they're like 150 bucks a pair. And uh, I mean, they work, you know, it's not, uh, it's not like I'm out doing rallies across the desert and so forth in this car. This is just kind of a fun, you know, uh, project novelty car. So you know, it all just kind of worked out. Gets a lot of really cool looks and likes and people just like, what the heck is that? So, all right, the back bumper, um, it's a little light bar that I made. Uh, nothing I'd be hooking up a toe strap to, um, just essentially did that to uh, throw some lights on. And with those big tires, you uh, rob the engine of quite a bit of power. So I had to bump that back up. These are some of the little mods that I've done. I did this on my other R53 and man, it's just a great little combination and it really, really cranks some power out of um, these little Mini Coopers. And that is just a supercharger reduction pulley. This one's a 17%. Uh, Previous one I did was a 15%. I did uh, different coil packs, some different plugs and wires, and uh, a Alta uh, cold air intake. And then of course, this uh, pace setter exhaust system, um, which I think is actually a really good deal and it sounds great. In fact, I have some sound clips, which I will play for you now. Um, this is stock exhaust at first and then the Monza pace setter after that. So take a listen to that. So uh, there you go, little sound clips. Uh, like I said, that pace setter for the money, uh, I think is the money. It uh, sounds really, really good. Little shot of um, the fender flares. Uh, now that's what the OEM fender flare is taken off. I did have to cut about an inch of the metal all the way um, across both front and rear of that little lip. Uh, and then I sealed it all up. Again, only to clear those big meats of, of uh, the tires that are on there. 
Um, so that's essentially kind of uh, what I did with Little Pepe. The Fender Flares, uh, again, um, just picked them up online, uh, eBay. I looked for something that kind of had the same arch and made them work. Uh, I had to uh, cut them in the front, split them because of the hood, you know, the way the hood uh, raises up uh, and they're halfway attached on the hood and then the rest is on the fender, but it all worked. And uh, this is the, the final little prod, uh, product, Pepe, the Mini Cooper. Um, it's always, uh, you know, driving around, man, I get all kinds of uh, thumbs up and uh, it gets a lot of laughs and, and so forth, but it's just kind of cool too. Um, because it's just something that you don't see every day. So a little shot of the rear with the uh, little LED lights, as you can see, uh, because I cut out the little side marker lights, I replaced them with little LED lights, and then uh, just some inexpensive uh, kind of boy racer tail lights. Don't really care for them, but it is what it is. Um, so there's Pepe. Um, there's a little shot of uh, Luigi and Pepe before Luigi sailed on. Uh, he was sold on Bring a Trailer, and there's Pepe and Rambo, my 1971 M35A2 Kaiser Jeep military vehicle. Uh, they make a good combo. Hope you enjoyed uh, the little uh, slideshow here. I know it's a little prehistoric, it's not like an actual video, but you get the gist of it. And um, <clears throat> hopefully that kind of explains uh, what I did with this uh, little car. Uh, I've had it for a couple years, I actually built this in 2019. And um, we'll probably end up listing it for sale here, either on eBay or bring a trailer sometime in the next little bit. Uh, I got a bunch of projects. I like to just do fun stuff like this and move on. I've had a lot of fun with this and maybe at some time uh, somebody else can uh, enjoy it for a little bit. All right, thanks a lot for watching and uh, we'll see you soon. Take care.